Hello and welcome to another episode of Reese's Random Reviews. I am Reese, and I'm about to give you a random review. Today's film is a very underrated and a very mysterious and not a very well-known movie, but it has a very amazing history behind it. I'm talking about The Thief and the Cobbler. It is an animated fantasy film directed, co-written and co-produced by Canadian animator Richard Williams, who is best known for his work on Roger Rabbit and A Christmas Carol Show made in the 70s. The film is famous for its long, troubled history. Due to independent funding, the complex animation The Thief and the Cobbler was in and out of production for over two decades. I mean, the film was actually started off in 1964, but it was released in 1993. It was finally placed into full production in 1988 when Warner Brothers agreed to finance and distribute the film. Negotiations broke down when production went over budget and behind schedule. So Warner Brothers pulled out and a complexion bond company assumed control of the film. The film was re-edited and restructured by producer Fred Calvert without Williams' involvement and released in Australia and South Africa as The Princess and the Cobbler in 1993. Two years later, Miramax released an even more heavenly edited version of the film in North America under the title Arabian Night. With The Thief and Cobbler being in production from 1964 until 1993, a total of 31 years surpassed the 20-year Guinness Book of Records. There are three versions of this film, but I've only seen two which is the Miramax version and the Richard Williams original print. And you know which one I love the most? Yes, Richard Williams version. Why? I'll tell you why. When I heard about this history, I had to look at both films myself. And the Miramax version, oh my goodness. Richard Williams' version should have been the one that should have been finished and done. The Miramax version is terribly edited. There are so many mistakes. They put songs in it, which is... I mean, this film's not even a musical. And they make the characters unlikable. And also, I hate the fact that they gave a script and the dialogue to the two main silent characters, the thief and the cobbler themselves. If you haven't seen the recobbled cut, which is the original print, watch it on YouTube. It's definitely worth the watch for animation fans. But it has the Miramax version. I mean, that can go right up a... In the middle of a... There, I've just said it. Okay, anyway, I'm Reese, and I've just given you a random review.